We are back in the 207 Kitchen at O Main Studios with Chef Bo Byrne. We're so happy to have you back. Thanks for having me. We're going to elevate the hot dog today, take it to a new level. Now, all summer you've had a specialty cart top dog with hot dogs and specialty toppings. That's correct? right. That's right. And now we're going to see that throughout the year as you do some pop ups at Island Dog Brewery. That's right. That's okay. right. We have one scheduled each month, so stay tuned for those. Excellent. Yeah. So this guy knows his hot dogs here. And what do we got going on today? All right. Today, this hot dog is called the Goonie Dog. And this is going to be a play <laughs> off of the uh, like a like a Rangoon kind of flavor profile. So right. we're going to start that out with some cream cheese here that's warmed. I have it on top of a little steamer. OK, and the dogs are already in the steamer and cooking. The dogs are in the steamer cooking, doing Great. their thing, All and right. the trick about putting this up there is that now this is really easy to move around. Now that this is so soft. So that's just cream cheese, but it's nice and softened. Just, just softened like Perfect. that, and now simply some scallions, and this is going to be the first spread. This is ultimately going to land inside these toasted buns that we have here. Ooh, okay. So you see how easily that comes together? That's all, right. But only if are... it's softened. Got so it. That's, cream that's cheese can be very stiff otherwise. Absolutely. Okay. Very hard to work with. So what else we got going on? The next on? big flavor profile in this is sweet red chili sauce. And so mm. I like to make my own. And if you if you do it this way, you'll never you'll never make it at you, you'll, you'll never, never buy, buy it buy again. It? Okay. You'll never buy it again. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, rice, wine, vinegar, a little bit of sake. Okay. Some sambal. And we're going to put this in here. Oh, it smells good. That's Absolutely. nice and sweet. Yeah, and it's got some yeah. ginger coming at you as well, a little oh bit of garlic. Oh, my gosh. So that's going to boil in for about five minutes or so, and then okay. get a little bit of a cornstarch slurry. Nice. And then that's going to turn into this. Ooh. This Which style. just, by yeah. magic, happens to be ready for it. Absolutely, ready to go. The magic of TV, right? Okay. Uh, the other thing you have is the fried wonton. The other thing is the fried wonton. So I have here a 350 degree oil, and I just took these wonton skins here that you would use to make egg rolls and things like that. Right. And then we crispy fried them here. Nice. And so they're all done. So and those, the other thing we were done. talking about earlier, this is just a regular old candy thing. This is a really easy way to fry at your house. Right. Uh, small, there's about an inch of oil and a candy thermometer. Okay. A lot of people don't have deep fat fryers. Right. They're always wondering, so how do I know? Kind of make it yourself. How hot is it? And this is a really good it's way to hot. tell. <laughs> don't flick water into it. Not a good way. <laughs> okay. So now that we're to self. now that we're ready to go on this, I've right. got these toasted Bottos buns, which I love. I love the Bottos buns. All right. And you just toasted those lightly in I, a little I bit I just of oil. toasted these with a little bit of oil very lightly. All right. And I'm going to take a little bit of the softened scallion cream cheese. Okay. And that's going to go right into here first. Oh my gosh. And then Oof. I've got some. Um, These are going to be hot dogs like we've never seen hot dogs. Like, like you've never, you've never had a hot dog quite like this. <laughs> and th and that, that was always part of the fun of this project, was just trying to elevate the hot dog. Uh, this is some uh, pickled daikon radish that's pickled with a, a lacto fermentation process, mm. which, unlike traditional pickles, this is more like a salt brine. Okay. And then keeping it in your basement in a jar for a, a few of days. A lot different flavors. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot, of, lot, a lot, of, lot going on with this. But okay. The, the perfect bite when it hits. Those those fried wontons that we talked about. This is is there going to be any room for the hot dog? A little dog bit of crunch. There? You'll see. We'll make room. <laughs> we'll make a little room. Okay. These are over the top hot dogs. So if they you're going to do it that that's way, right. you got to go big. You got to go, go big. So here we go. These are right. going to come right out of oh here. Oh my gosh. So you got a lot of different flavors going on that are all going to combine together. Absolutely. Nice. Some of that sweet red chili sauce that we made earlier. Look Ooh. at that. Look how that pours right out. Beautiful. I like to go with a little bit more of this right on the top. We got just Labor to Day show weekend it off. coming up too. Anybody who's thinking about doing a little outdoor Absolutely. barbecue, you know, you this, just... the, no one else in your neighborhood will be doing dogs like this. If, if you do this, <laughs> we guarantee you. <laughs> show off a little bit, will you? Awesome. Beautiful. Look at that. It comes together so easily. And there we have it. That's Chef the Goonie Bo Dog. Chef Burn, Top Dog. Awesome. Thank you so much. We will, of course, have the recipe for all of this in the 207 section of our website and app. Thank you for joining us in the kitchen. Thanks and for having me. And we will be right back.